Listen, darling, you have put cars in your name for him. You might have put a crib in your name for him. But it doesn't solidify a position with you. At the end of the day, homegirl, facts are the facts, honey. That you bought yourself, yeah. Facts, little facts, cloudy soul. Facts, Look facts like it's about to come mm-hmm. out right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Honey, no stones coming out. Mm. But this it's not about that. Diamond. It's not about, I thought it was about the kids. It is. It is. But listen, the point of the matter is, we're married. Life without my husband, Mendici, hasn't been easy at all. I miss him so much. Before he left to serve his time, he sat myself and his other baby mothers down to ensure that we would keep these children together. It's important for these children that they know I will be returning. But since he's been gone, we've all failed him. I just Shocking. spoke to you two days ago and everything was good. Never. You didn't even invite birthday. me to that party. But like, I did tell that's you that okay little Mendici would be there. Right. You've never been you included. You can't tell so me my son is going to be there. You got to ask me. Keeping our children in each other's lives means, as mothers, we have to come together and get on the same page. I've invited little Mendici's mom, Samantha, so we can talk and get some type of understanding. I want to know where little Mendici's has been for the last three months. What's up? I had a text message you wanted to meet. The reason I called or text is because I genuinely love your son. You know, um, he built a very strong bond with Amir, with Skylar. They haven't seen him. I want to figure out what we need to do to fix this so that we can get back to a normal place where we were in the past. When can I see little Mendici? For the four years that I've known about Yandy, not once has she reached out to me. So for her trying to have a conversation with me is a f- joke. Before Mendeecees went to prison, I allowed my son to stay with his father. And in that time, Yandy conveniently forgot that little Mendeece is my son. If Yandy wants to see little Mendeece again, she's going to have to learn how to deal with me. You're going to see Mendeece. I'm not holding him hostage from you. But we need to work out our issues, OK? Well, I never knew we had an issue. I think you never cared enough to see if you had an issue. You never expressed to me that you had a problem with anything. This is a lot of There's fluff. There's no fluff. The, One, what the fluff is, the fluff what the is, fluff is, no, okay, no, no, no. Listen, I'm not finished. Is. You never have a problem when it benefits you or what you have to do. If it was after school programs you needed me to pick him up from, it wasn't a problem. If it was acting classes and I paid for it, it was never a problem. One day of a singing class, you want to win an award. You're not the nobody wants an award for you're anything. You're not the mommy I of the kid. No, but that does not negate the fact that you took that little boy out of a household where he was loved. Yo, he never lived with you. So he lived with his father. Out. No, he did not. His father been battling the case for five years. I was allowing my son to be with you guys the, because he was going through his legal okay. battles. You allowed him to stay with his father. In that case, he was fed every night. Right? Not by he you. Was cook- you was always out. You have all type of babysitters. Samantha, you don't know what, what I got. So how many you have? I, I don't have know. One. I don't know who the people you have, have my son one. around. I, have I don't one. know all but that's, these people. But that's your fault. Anybody my kids is around, I'm going to know them that's very well because I care that much. What kind of crap is that? Yandy tries to make it seem like she cares about my son more than I do. I have sole custody of my son. I let my son stay with Mendici because I trust Mendici. It's you, Yandy, who I have a problem with. Every single thing I've ever did was because I love your son. Everything. Cut the crap. From, because no, 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 no. Love, it's not If you love crap. my son, me, again, you wouldn't respect what? his mother. Did you think to call me and let me know that you wanted to take my son okay. seeing his father and go off to jail? Hot. I don't even think that I have to call you to say that. If his father you don't says, think so? If his father tells me to do something, do I, d- so? I don't. Yes, you do. Because y'all don't have mother custody over him. Are you crazy in your mind that you don't understand that you have to ask me to take my son out of state? Are you that stupid? Listen, Are you that a- delusional where you don't I- respect it? I've always been opposed to my son going to visit any prison. If I did something wrong in my life and I was punishing for it, I don't think I would want my son to visit me in prison. What if I didn't want him to have nightmares every night about his father being taken into custody? I know what's best for my son, not her. And that's why I can't continue to listen to her bull anymore. I'm done. I don't even want to have this conversation with you because you're a idiot. Learning from Judy that Samantha has little Mendici living here and there and outside of her care has me furious. But more than furious, I'm concerned. Little Mendici is and always will be welcomed in my home. So I need to get to the bottom of what's really going on from one person. 
Hey, Andy, what up? What's up, Kim? Thank you for coming to meet me. My issue is always just these children, their well-being, and making sure that they stay together and that they're loved. That's it. You disrespected my daughter. What did I do, Kim? Let's be very specific. It's like you keep throwing my daughter under the bus. How? When, when did I throw her under the bus? It's and how? when you handle things, like the way you want them in D.C., you just snatch them up, take them out of school. Come on, Yandy. Now, Kim, even if uh, I did, but let me explain something to you. Kim, even if I did, well, I'm not in competition with Samantha. I'm very clear that that's his mother. But I Kim, want all the disrespect to stop, Yandy. Yandy want to make it sound like she take better care of my grandson than his own mother does. And that's not true. So until we can start being honest, the kids are going to suffer. You were sitting there when Mendeecey said, all I want is for my children to be together. And we all sat at that table and agreed. And that's my issue. The other thing is, Judy came and spoke to me. She told me that Samantha's not with her son. She's staying at Little Mendeecey's with you. And she, I don't, Judy was talking about Samantha. You know she's lying. Listen, let me just you, tell you. Listen. Please let me get this out. Judy is okay. full of and this right. is what I'm told. Judy, the started. No, she's, she's not. So Kim, please. Now Judy not a starter. She's so what the she said? What she's saying is that you've been raising him, and she feels like he's not happy. She feels like oh, wait, listen, please, just listen to me. A bunch of bull. You know this. Whether Lil Mendici is with me, his grandmother, or Samantha, he's well taken care of. Judy's starting this bull for no reason. I'm not with this. I don't want to hear somebody coming telling me that he's sleeping in the house where there's no. Now, who told you this I told you, Judy told me. Oh, I don't want to hear this. Judy doesn't play when it comes to her grandchildren. And the fact that Kim is reacting the way she's reacting, all our rate, tells me that there might be some truth to what Judy told me. You know, I'm out of here, all right? I'm tired of both. Tight! Yandy and Judy seem to have an idea that my daughter don't take good care of her son, Little Mendeecey. My grandson is loved and taken care of by both me and Samantha. I'm tired of the disrespect, so today I'm calling a family meeting. Hey, Sam, I'm so upset. This is crazy. I got a friend and call from my mother. She's going on and on and on about how she flipped out on Yandy. She's flipping the table on Yandy. I need to know what the hell is going on and what type of bull Yandy is up to now. What happened? Yandy said that you don't take care of living in D.C. That's some bull You already know this is fabricated. I'm Erica. I'm the mother of Mendici's second son, Asim. I've been a part of the Harris family for 13 years. I know Samantha and Kim very well. We've grown close over the years. We co-parent together. So I know that if Kim calls a meeting, something ain't right. My mother's telling me that Yandy said what? She just was going on how she take care of Mendici, you don't take care of him, and I'm raising him now. That doesn't make any sense. And that's where she got it from, Judy. See, this is why I can't stand. You believe this, though? She's a starter, and I confronted Andy about it. Mendeecey, the father, has three boys. Why nobody's going after a scene? I don't deal with Yandy the troll. I'm sick of trash can Yan running her yuck mouth. She's disgusting. She makes up stories and lies and rumors about me and my son, and she needs to stop. She created this story about this break baby, knowing good and well she was the other woman. She's a legend that she's been with Mendici for umpteen years, and they had some sort of breakup. And during this break, he and I had a scene, and then she got back with him. But her timeline is a little sketchy. Don't be mad that the truth is about to come out. Don't get scared now. I was pregnant with a scene. I had no clue that Yandy was still messing around with Mendici's. Yandy had the nerve to say that she wanted my baby stomped out of me because I was pregnant by my man that I was in a relationship with. Then she got pregnant right behind me. She has to be out of her mind. Like, break baby, save it. Bitch, give me a break. It don't make sense. And then everyone believes it. Right. Yandy needs to learn her place that she is the stepmother, not the mother. But I think it's Judy causing all this chaos. I believe it is also, and I'm gonna go see her. But you can't allow her to talk about me. 
No. You gotta check not. that bitch because she can't talk about me. You just sit there. If Kim and Judy are gonna sit down and have a World War Three, I want to make sure my mother can stand up to Judy. I want the truth. I want answers. I wish she would come to Erica. You already know I have my opinion on who's the troublemaker, and that's the troll. That's why I question, like, is it really Judy or is this another one of her games? Yandy got everybody brainwashed and sipping the Kool-Aid and I don't want no parts of it. But if sitting down with Judy makes everyone see who's the real person pulling a wool over everybody's eyes, I'll do it. It's just gonna be me, you, and my mother. Trolley not gonna be there. Yeah, if it's to meet up with Judy, I'll come. Tonight, I invited Judy to sit down with Samantha, Erica, and myself to get to the bottom of who started all this family drama about Little Mendici's living situation. And I want to find out what is it going to take to get all of Mendici's children back into each other's lives. Yandy is not here tonight, because when Yandy and Judy get together, they always plotting and scheming. If we really want the truth, we got to get Judy by herself. I want to find out what's going on, and I need to know why she finds it comfortable to keep disrespecting you. Here she comes now. Hello, Judy. Hi, Judy. How you doing? I agreed to meet with Samantha and Kim because I'm concerned about my grandson. And I'm hoping we all could be civilized and discuss this like adults. Well, Judy, you know I called you because I want to get to the bottom of this. Andy said that you're saying that Samantha don't take care of Medici. No, I do. but I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say what Yandy said or didn't say because I don't care. Y'all have to address that with Yandy. What I care about as a grandmother is to be there for my grandkids and keep them together. Yandy is Medici's wife. And so I feel like y'all keeping the children away from her. And all of this happened since Mendici been going away. The minute Mendici left, the kids haven't connect. You know what I'm saying? That sounds a little instigative. I never made it hard for Yandy. She came into this picture in this situation knowing that the father, Mendici, had a son. So it's not my job to come in and make sure that she's good in this situation. She needs to come to me and make it work. Yandy knows full well what my issues are with her. And until she can respect me as little Mendici's mother, I don't owe her anything. Yandy has to weigh about herself going out there, making it seem as though I'm not raising my son. And it seems like you're on that same. No, no, I think you're doing a better job than what you did in the past. We all go through trials and tribulations. And you always disrespecting my daughter. I don't know what it is with you and Samantha. Samantha. My intention is not to disrespect you. You disrespect me time and time again. You disrespect me. Oh, man. All the time, Judy. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yandy keeps on coming in and stirring the pot and making things even harder for these women to get along. And it needs to stop. They need to open their eyes and see that it's the troll with them. Who are you to tell me I'm doing a better job? I don't I don't talk about how you raised your kids. I don't talk about that. You got a big mother mouth. I got a big mother mouth. Like, I'm tired of this right, but what is it gonna take for y'all to have each other back again? I just want mother to be honest, man. Stop your bull I'm Let's bullshit. talk about this situation. Ass You're that dead ass nobody. You know I'm that I'm You know that I already peeped your game. You're gonna no, jump up, not. be Mike Tyson. You're gonna no, it's not about some that stupid shit. Okay, don't play stupid now. Oh, my chest. Oh. <laughs> chest hurts, Sam. You having a heart attack? Oh what the f is this? Oh, my chest. Seriously, she's having a heart attack. <clears throat> are she serious? Kim, are you f serious? Calm down, she is. Anyone has an aspirin? Oh, my God. Oh, all right, all right. Let's call the 911. My chest. Kim, you all right? My My Get her off. Get off. Samantha, get her jacket off. <laughs> going mad hard. It was nice. Am I really watching this? I can't believe what I'm seeing here. It looks like Kim is about to lose her life over some bull that Judy is starting with her. It's crazy. But well, we all need to stick together. Yeah, snap of a finger, all these go left. Oh my God! Today is the day that my Simi and Little Mendici 
are gonna have a graduation party. We're here a little early to set up before all the kids arrive, and the word on the street is this troll Yandy is coming in here. So I know I gotta get my mind right so that I can address her properly if she decides to get out of character. Kim, you ready to have fun? Yes. You gotta take it easy though, right? I am. You see, I'm over here. Are with you the... feeling better? You feeling much lot... better, much better. Good. I look better, right? Yes, you do. You look like you lost some weight too. I wasn't eating. My scare the other night was a huge wake-up call. I was having chest pains, and I didn't think I was going to make it. I'm going to be OK, though. But it means I also can't be putting myself through all the stress. And in this family, it's nothing but stress. And my stomach is turning. <laughs> I hear it. I'm trying to be above the drama and let the children see each other. But Yandy and I still have some unfinished business to attend to. She's telling anyone who listens that I don't take care of my son, I have a problem with that. I like it here, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you're OK. Yeah, I'm feeling much better. I needed some rest. Yeah. As happy as I am to see Judy, Yandy, and the kids, I can't stay around these women if they can't get along. If I learned anything from what I went through, I learned that life is too short for all this drama. Okay, guys, let's go have fun. Come on, Judy, let's go have fun. See you later, girls. See you later. Right, We're so gonna open it when we come back, I promise Daddy, you. you gonna go with Grandma Judy? Come on. I'm beyond excited about bringing my children to see their brothers. They haven't seen them for a few months, but when Judy and Kim get up to leave, I'm feeling a bit set up. Here we go. Hello, ladies. I'm glad we could all finally sit down. It's been a long time. Well, let's talk. I mean, we're all here. I mean, DC asked us a while ago to keep the family together, and we just haven't done a good job at it. I know that there's some things that... Right. What was it that you were telling my mother? What were you mentioning about me? I just wanted to clear the air with her. That's it. She Same reason why I called you. She made it seem as though you had some questions or you had some concerns about me not raising my son and, um, I guess, my son living with my mother and all that BS. Yeah, so... Well, I mean, where the issue lies is when it feels like the only reason why he's not around is because you just want to keep him away from me. You are out here stirring up rumors and, and making false accusations that I didn't raise my son. It makes me puke. It makes me puke, all the bull that you be spitting. Samantha, your son spent a lot of time with his father, and because I live with his father, but Don't okay. make it like my son lived with you. You all live right, with Samantha, his father. Samantha, that's semantics. It's, it's his, I no, live, it's not me and semantics. Me and, me and DC live together. Listen, so you're gonna have to stop acting like you're my son's mother, especially when you don't pay no bills in my house. I have the financial burden of my son. So while you get to sit around here and act like you're raising him. Samantha, I don't wanna hear you, I don't wanna hear my name. I don't wanna hear my name. All I wanna hear you do is say sorry. You're not gonna sit up there and act like I'm not in my son's life. I'm not gonna have you do that anymore. I'm not. This is exactly why I was hesitant about coming to this party in the first place. It's not about us. It's about these children. Let's talk about the real issue, and that's keeping this family together. Cut the bull I'm working seven days a week, Samantha, okay? Well, I'm taking care Samantha. of my son. So for you to say I'm Samantha. not raising my son Samantha. is real Samantha. up. Samantha, we could talk back and forth all day. The fact of the matter is, we all have children by this man. What he wants is for these kids to be together. And what I want is for these kids to be together. Yandy's so full of it, and I'm sick and tired of it, and I'm about to set her nasty ass straight. You have to learn your place. You're saying, you don't raise your son. You this, you that. That's not the truth. Tell the truth. Or even if you don't want to tell the truth, don't tell it. Yeah. That's what's separating the children. You done? No, I'm not done. Okay. When DC wants his children together, I've never held a scene from you, despite you saying, that was a break, baby. I never said those words. No, you know, you didn't say it, but I you didn't implied it. And as a college-educated woman, you know that you don't have to say something in order for the message mm -hmm. to be. Don't go to what's implied. Go with the truth. Now, about this break, baby, what I've always said, I never knew anything about you being pregnant, probably till you was about eight months, when DC told me. At this point, he had already been living with me for seven months. I decided to stay with him because what he said to me was, her and I are not together, we haven't been together. We planned is, our son. Hold on one second. She got pregnant, yes, but we were never together. Well, he lied to and you. I never your cried man, your about husband you. that you in such a great space with great. has lied to you. It doesn't it. matter what you say. There's nothing you could ever say to make me feel like he's lying to me. Nothing. Erica's on her last leg trying to find some validation in Medici's life, but bitch, you ain't never gonna get no validation from me or my husband, stop trying to prove to me something that is not, because I don't care. You got used for your vagina. You got a baby out of the deal. Thanks and good day. Mendici said very clearly to me, I told Erica that I had a girlfriend. She didn't care, she still wants 
You had a baby 10 months behind me. You're the go yeah, behind. and it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Just like anything that I hear about you, it doesn't matter. You have to just own up to where you are in life and what it is. That man has never claimed you. You ain't never been nothing but a slide. That man has never said you were his girlfriend to anyone. We got matching listen, passports with the same listen, stamps, vacations. Does, listen, way back 2004. Listen, uh, I put cars, apartments in my name for him. That's what slides do. We have the same well, address have, legally listen. still to this day. No, but you go don't. ahead. Go ahead. No, you, you don't, and you never have. Actually, I do, boo boo. I knew Yandy was gonna be on some bullshit because she was running her mouth, as usual, so I came with my receipt. I mean, DC and I traveled the world together had apartments together. Now tell me again how I'm the slide. Listen, darling, you have put cars in your name for him. You might have put a crib in your name for him, but it doesn't solidify a position with you. At the end of the day, homegirl, facts are the facts, honey. That you bought yourself, yeah. Facts, little facts, cloudy soul. Facts, facts, Look facts like it's about to come mm -hmm. out right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honey, no stones coming out. Mm -hmm. But this it's not about that. Diamond. It's not about, I thought it was about the kids. It is. It is. But listen, the point of the matter is, been married. I'm done. I really, I, I really, I did not come here. It's about the kids. I didn't come here for all of this. You know what I'm saying? What I wanted to do is clear the air, figure out who's talking, who's telling who what, and I can get an answer. You can't be right. honest with Erica. Okay. And I really feel like we could just dismiss this. Like, I don't even need to sit here anymore no, and no, deal no, with I'm this. Gonna, no, 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 Samantha, I don't want to deal with no, this. No, I'm going to address I don't want to deal with it. I don't Samantha. want you addressing nothing with me. This is always gonna be the same story with Yandy. She's gonna be the wife and the mother of the year, and me and Erica ain't It's a wrap. I'm done. You can't admit nothing. There's nothing to discuss. So, uh, I can't help it if you guys are upset, you're mad, you're liar. I, I'm a liar. sorry. Delusional. Your girl is funny Delusional. in the bag. Your mouth is funny. And Your I'm, ass that, is funny. That, that, Listen, all right. Good night, don't honey. play with me. Samantha might be done, and I respect that. But as far as Yandy is concerned, I'm just getting started. Watch your back, Mrs. Troll, because I'm coming for you. Can't win them all. I tried. Hello? Samantha. Hey, Erica. Listen, I just went home, and there's a note on my door. It says, I changed the locks. If you have any questions or concerns about what wives do, come ask a wife. How could you do that? Finally. Exactly. Like, I'm disgusted. At the rate that this bum is going, she's going to be locked up, too. My name is on the lease of that apartment. Mendici's name is on the lease of that apartment. Guess whose name is not on the lease? Yandy Smith. Y'all, Princess Yandy Smith is really a dirt bag that breaks the law. It's a wrap for her. She needs to get kicked right in her dolphin teeth. Are you gonna go there now? Yes, I'm going right now. The same way she liked to pop up on me for all these years, I'm about to pop up on her. Check her. Oh, I'ma check her trifling ass, and I'ma check her real good. Trash Can Yan is about to get the visit of her lifetime. Pull over. I don't normally venture down into Trollville, but I'm gonna make sure that this is one visit that she will never forget. Oh. Fancy finding you here. What's up? No, 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 nah, no, what's, no, up? No, what's up? What's up? What's up? This is what's up. What, what, that, that, no, that's you up. do realize you f up, right? That's my apartment with my I, name on it. That's the not your apartment. I couldn't believe that I walked in there to see my son's aunt dressed like a teenage boy spitting these lies out at me co-signing with this fool. Mind your business. My brother is my business. Yeah, yeah, my like brother is, is my business. Is my business. This business. is bull because y'all not really about family. Y'all oh, slap the oh, out of here. Bitch, you just oh, bitch, you oh, oh, ass, oh, whack ass bitch. Now you whack, you're whack, you're whack. Let's talk about me, bitch. You talk about that bitch. I remember when Neffa was running around telling everybody I was her sister-in-law and Yandy was this nasty broad from uptown. Now she want to come in here acting like she's Yandy's puppet. Guess the troll got to Neffa too. Nice. hold on one second. Sorry. Please, let me do this. Oh, I guess you got my note, Erica. Listen, if you were a girlfriend, you wouldn't have been able to be evicted by his wife. So now that you're here, we could talk like animals or we could talk like ladies. You came up here real, real mother mad. And let me tell you something. I don't have a problem with you. I love your son to death. I hate that we got to be here, but what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to allow you to with my family. I'm not going to allow you to with my men. And one thing I will never allow you to do is with my family and my men. You just said out your own mouth, you don't have a problem with me. A woman who doesn't have a problem with another woman wouldn't go to an apartment that another's woman name is on and change the locks. My husband and I agreed to put her name on a lease to get her off her mom's couch 
and still she doesn't stay there. You're trying to act like you have a relationship with this man who never ever claimed you. So therefore, your name is coming off that lease. You're obsessed and deranged. Legally, that's my apartment. Legally, you look stupid. And you can pull out paperwork. Whose name is first? My husband. I got power attorney over that. Show me a real piece of paper. No, I got power attorney. It's mine, honey. And DC granted me power of attorney over all his affairs because I'm his wife. Whatever belongs to Mendeecees, apartments included, belong to me. We know Scott put leases in their name. That's what he used you for. You know how many times he talk about how whack you are, how disgusted he is by you? You know what he said? I wish the f I didn't have a baby with her. He said that you basically him. Everybody know if I wanted your man, I could have him. He would've gave you a ring, bitch. He would've gave you a ring, bitch. I don't want him. He want me. You whack, tacky, nasty whore. Do your man tell you the things that he writes me? Does your man tell you about the pictures he asked me to me and I curve him? My husband is hitting me up from jail asking me to send him flicks. If his wife is really putting it down, why is he still asking me for pictures since he's so disgusted with me, as she says? You talk about the past. You talk about he did this. I don't give a about nothing he did. May 25th, 2015 is repentance day. Anything he did before that, including you, is erased. Period. Erica just can't take the fact that this man is my husband and does not want anything to do with her ever, not before and not now. Once you have a diamond like me, who needs a rhinestone? You change your life. You call in my phone. You Did sit that. there running your mouth. Did that you the too. one that's mad. So how you gonna say I'm mad and you doing Did this? That. All I'm doing is defending myself. Bitch, you can get evicted like you got evicted out of everything else. You get evicted out of that apartment and now you get the ass up out of here. Hi. Hood rat. Have a nice Hi. evening. Dirt balls. Liars. I may not stay in the apartment now, but because my name is on the lease, it belongs to me. Get the f out. Trolley broke the law whether she likes it or not. But I'll have the locks changed by the end of the day, and there's nothing that the troll can do about it. We'll handle this one. I'll be waiting. Mama. My girl Juju's in town, so me and Kim decided to crash her photo shoot because she's putting out a book and I want to know all about it. <laughs> I have so much to catch my girls up on. The drama, my babies, and the bit of baby mama crew. So Yan, what's been going on? How the kids? Girl, it's so much going on. If I had a week, to tell you all the stuff that's going on. You well, would know. we have right now, because we're always busy. Let's talk about it. What's happening? So, I didn't get invited to the graduation for a little in DC or a scene, but I decided to come because I want to see my babies. Ooh. Absolutely. And I claim all four of them as my children. Right, absolutely. And, you know, it got very heated, very nasty, and Erica was the main one that was very. She the had quiet all, one? The quiet one, girlfriend. This is what I'm she saying. She had all this built up aggression and anger. She said, oh yeah, me and in DC legally share this same apartment. You gonna tell me you share that place with who, my man? Are you crazy? And I kept calm. I kept cool. Absolutely. But the more I went home, the more I thought about it, I was that pissed you and off. madder and madder. So then I had to teach her a lesson. <gasps> Listen, you don't share nothing. So I went to that house and I changed the locks. What? <laughs> I can't. I really what can't. What ended up happening after all like, of that, though? Nothing. I left a note on the door. Like, if you have a problem with anything that I've done, please come please find come me. Please come see me. Come see me. OK. She popped up at my event that I was setting up for. You What's the problem? The you, and then she kept what? threatening me. She kept threatening me. Watch. Watch what's going to happen. What? Watch what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Right. I have to do what I want to do. I have power of attorney over everything that that man has to do. I can change the locks. Now, what you want to do? That's your husband. You have so. power of attorney. So what's the problem? Who can come question you about what? Well, with me and Mendici, there's so much to our union Absolutely. that is beyond the power of attorney. And the reason why I say this is because the night before my wedding, uh huh. May 24th, 2015, I was advised if you sign off on this marriage registration, since it's please not sign and you might have to pay restitution, you could be responsible as well. This man not only tried to marry me once, and I said, this is not right, but twice. And now I'm telling him some, another reason as to why this won't play out the way we dreamt it to. 
So yeah, what you trying to say? Like you guys are not married? What I'm saying, Kim, is I have a union with Mendici, but I did not go into a partnership with Mendici and the government. <gasps> okay, Yan, so let me make sure I'm getting this straight. What you're saying is that you're not legally married? No. I do not have a contractually binded agreement with the government between my husband and I. But me, Mendici, and God, we absolutely have an agreement. I was there, though. I was at the wedding. This is what I'm saying. This is crazy. I didn't send off the paperwork. We signed it. Our officiant signed it. I never sent it off. Wow. I can't imagine how Yandy felt having to hold in such a secret for so long. I'm here for Yandy no matter what. Certificate signed, not signed, I'm here for her. That's my girl. I didn't have this conversation with nobody. My officiant that married me, you know that's my best friend. I didn't have a conversation with them. They think the paperwork is sent off. Girl. And I don't want anyone to feel like my finances are more important than my marriage because that's not the case. No. I'm in music. I'm one hit away from being a billionaire, right. and I'm also one scandal away from losing everything. Mm -hmm. That's right. Every single dime I make goes in the bank. And I would be damned before I let somebody tell me this money that I worked for is going back for a crime that I didn't commit. Right. right. I don't want to be persecuted for not sending the paperwork off, but I had very good reasoning, and it was all to protect my family. So I want to let my girls know and I need their support now more than ever. Because I'm sure once those trifling Bitter Baby Mama Club members get a hold of this information, they're going to yell it to the wazoo. I mean, the plea is already signed, so the restitution hopefully is off the table. But i would be damned before I let some child support bitches taking bitches try to take some money out of Hell right. You know that's next. You if know that that's for next. restitution, you know that's fall right in line. Nobody wants a trifling baby mother coming after they man money on top of their money. When Mendici come home, everybody gonna go into hiding with these baby mothers, okay? Listen, <laughs> y'all already know how my brother give it up. You could sign the paper when he get out. I don't care about no piece of paper that bonds me legally to nobody. What I care about is I committed myself before God and I committed myself before my friends and my family and that I'm loyal to you. Mm -hmm. I didn't have time to really do the whole calling. She it. wasn't speaking to me, so. That was, listen. She okay. was barely speaking to no. me. And why didn't you call me? Look, I know, Juju, you don't know Don't come pick up the pieces now, OK? <laughs> why are we still on this? Yandy has a lot of reasons of why she hasn't signed them papers. You know, restitution, child support, bitches trying to come for her money. I get that, but guess what? I I'm not the reason. Thank God for good friends. Yes. And spiked lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> When Samantha and I are not dealing with the troll, Yandy, and her lock-changing bull we're actually doing something productive with ourselves. We're creating a clothing line called Trendy Boys so that we can provide for our children. These pants. This is, you know, this is my favorite. Right here. Yeah. I think it's all tying in good together. We can Definitely. be good. Definitely. Hello, hey, ladies. Hey, How are Hi. you? Hi. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Don't think I forgot what this troll did to me in my apartment. So I invited my own lawyer to discuss what my rights are at this point. Are the locks back to where they should be? Yes. You're able to have access can, to the apartment? Yes, I have access back into the apartment. OK, moving forward, you have equal rights to that property. Even if Mendeecees were home, he could not change the locks. He can't Got just it. lock you out of the property, and therefore, she can't lock you out of the property. Got it. What she did was illegal, correct? Yes. Uh, changing the lock. Is there anything you can suggest that I do to make her stop because she is getting worse? If the behavior is escalating and you feel to a certain extent threatened in some way, you can go to family court. You may have to petition for an order of protection to keep her away from you, okay? Okay. I'm not about to involve the courts in this mess, but it is nice to know that the law is on my side. If Yandy acts up again, She's the one that's gonna need an order of protection against me. This has been her track record. Right. It's, she always oversteps. She has to let it be known, like, I'm the wife. Every time he goes away, she starts to carry on, and then she gives this excuse of being married to him as the reason why she's doing all this. Well, 
based on information that I've been able to obtain, there is a possibility that Mendices and Yandy may not even actually be married. Seriously? No. Get yes. out of here. Yes. Holy yes. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You saying possibility? It's a possibility. I don't have a copy of a marriage certificate. Right. I haven't been able to find anything where her name has been changed. It appears that they may not be married. Now, when I call this bitch a fraud, everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. She ain't no better than me or Erica. Yenny got the nerve to have this big wedding, and she's just an unwedded woman who's a baby mama number three. Yandy Smith Harris, my ass, is Yandy Smith. Hey, just keep me posted, OK? OK. You just want to pounce her out. Like, she's such a freaking liar. Jesus. She lied to our children. She lied to our families. But this is good for when she's like, <laughs> Yandy Smith Harris does not exist. She's just a nasty, fake fraud all around the board. This is too much to just sit on. It's just a freaking lie. A lie. Everything's a lie. Is she really a woman? <laughs> she... What does she tell the truth about? Ain't call my bitch. Today I'm popping up on Bitter Baby Mama 1, cause her master plan to destroy my family is about to be dismantled. My husband already hit up Samantha to let her know about her so-called bestie. Oh, and this firestorm has just begun. So, you would go through these measures to sabotage my relationship? Sabotage, I could care less about your relationship. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, who let the troll in here and what the hell is she talking about? The only sabotage going on around here is from Yandy and her lies. I can't imagine what could have possibly happened for me to be owed this pop-up. But what Yandy doesn't know is that Samantha's already on her way here. So it's about to get real good. You'll see. I heard probably about 30 some odd conversations you and Samantha had about all the intricate plots to set me up. You're right there. You can't be talking about me. You. I could care less about of what you do. You could. That's your lane. And the next thing you said is, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep a seam and little Mendici away from you. I can't keep little Mendici from anybody. That's oh, not that's my child. Doing. She can't keep that's little Mendici away from anybody. The tape is real, Erica. If I said something about somebody, I'm sure they already know it anyway, because I don't have a problem saying it to their face, and I've discussed it with them. It's okay. what you put in Samantha's head on that tape. So I'm some. Brainwasher. Samantha can't sit there and think for herself. Exactly. I have to put something in her yeah, head. You got it. You got you it. You got it. It's on the tape. It's on the tape. It's on the tape. I'm not out here plotting against anyone. The only thing I'm trying to do is get the truth out here about this troll. I'm not the one that got married in front of millions of people and lied about it. That would be you. You. I make you keep your son from them. That it's my problem. You taped Erica? Tape her what? You taped her conversation with you that she don't know about. If you tape me, so? I could care less if you tape me. So? We, we done with that. We over that. Now let's go. I taped you too, Judy. I'm taping all these chicks. I don't care. I intend to protect myself. I intend to protect my son. I intend to protect my family. These heifers will bend the truth any chance they get. They trying to separate a friendship. They hating on a friendship. Why would I want to come in between? I don't need friends like this. I don't want your friendship neither, so. I, you wanted my money. What money you got that I want? The money that you begged me for. The money that your baby father owes me, not your money. Oh, but you did take my money. You ain't get it back. Give what back, bitch? You... Wait, wait, wait. Did you call me a bitch? I called you a mother bitch. Are you out of your f***ing you going to? What the f*** you going to do? Get the f*** out of here. bitch call me a bitch? Is she crazy? I'm not dealing with it, Yandy. I'm not dealing with your bullshit. Yandy coming up here on some gangster We plotting, we taping. We're coming for her man and her money. And she thinks she's going to put hands on me and it's, everything's OK? You can't even address things. You can't get nothing out the way. You can't resolve anything. Because as soon as you try to explain what's the problem, the troll does not want to listen. Nobody wants your man. We both had him before you, prior to you. How can I move forward? If you can lie to me, you can lie to the world. How can I trust you? Lie to you about what? You women in DC are married or not married? Which, which one is it? Me and DC are married, for sure. Oh, Erica, nor Samantha, any explanations about me and Mendici's marriage. This is why I can't see little Mendici in a scene. Hating hoes just ain't happy, and happy hoes ain't hating.
Why do you lie? I'm the wife, I get the ring. I get the ring, right? But like, what does the ring mean when there's no real marriage behind it? Bitch, please. Like, how do you think I'm supposed to really respect you? Erica, I don't know what you want to do with it, but I'm like done with this conversation. It's like, I feel like there's nothing I have to do. If it's about the kids, let it be about the kids. So let's end it. But there's nothing to end, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. Little Mendeecee's birthday party is coming up, right? I would like for all of us to be there when with no DC problem. When asked me, if I could put together something that he has planned, he wanted to plan no, something very special. No, absolutely not. You're not gonna plan my son's it's birthday party. I, I, I'm planning his party. Let me go back. He said, can you and I come together and pull this together and he'll pay for it? That sounds much better than how you worded it the first time. That sounds good. If Yandy can stay in her place and show me respect, we can make this happen. But if she comes at me crazy again, she's gonna regret it. I'm glad that you came to almost the common ground. You know, I'm not into your mess. I wanna love you down to pieces. Give me the chance. I just wanna be a part of my grandchildren. I don't want any more drama in the family. We all need to take a step forward in the right direction. So if it takes little Mandisi's birthday party for these kids to get together, let's get together. We should try to move forward for the kids. That's all I ask. Today is my son Little Mendeecee's 11th birthday party. I invited Yandy and the kids, but they're no show. I mean, it's almost over and no one's here. I want to say thank you, everyone, for coming out today to enjoy Mendici's birthday with us. Uh -huh. I really appreciate this. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, Sam. <laughs> I love you, too. Despite the no-shows, I think the party was a huge success. The fact that my son is smiling and he's having such a great time is all that a mother can ask for. Come on, let's go upstairs, y'all. My legs are killing me. I got cramps in them. I don't like adult. For situations right here. Walking out because the party ends at four. The party ends at four. Okay, I can't come here now without being you crazy. So I just took the kids upstairs and I come back downstairs and I hear all this commotion out on the street. Why do I see Yandy's pit bull Kimbella screaming her head off? This has Yandy's name written all over it. I guess Yandy and her kids were too good to come, so she sent Rambo to come shake things up at my son's birthday party. Not at my child's event. But who the f she, what's her problem? I don't, I don't she ready know. to fight. So let's but she do don't know nobody over here, so what's she ready to fight? Concern yourself with that. Okay, this is not, I don't even know why this is happening. First of all, I'm, I know that I'm in DC and the All of these kids, okay? My kids still have a bond with these kids. Why is she here? I pulled up to Lil Mendeecee's birthday party, as I should and always will and always have. It's a shame that this family and these kids cannot see each other solely because Erica and Samantha have an issue with Yandy. Even my children have a relationship with Lil Mendeecee and the team. So not everybody f***ed up. Everybody missing out on the family time. Yandy did not ask me to show up. I did that on my own. Somebody needs to get involved. And who better than me? That's not even her friend. Every time she's around her, she ends up on the floor getting f***ed up for her. That's what I'm Why is she saying. over here going so hard for her? Because obviously Samantha has a problem with Yandy not acknowledging the fact that Erica and BBC were together. Now some petty ass and that's the main reason why these kids are not seeing each other. She got three kids on her own. What is she doing? Ma. What? We have Kimbella outside acting crazy. I'm gonna My point and my goal here right now is this is some real going on. Oh, she acting crazy. Too. Yeah, she, she act like she gonna do something. Okay? It's real. But yeah, she's gonna fine. She's gonna get beat up again. Kim! Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Punch her right on the face. Knock that bitch. What's up, Kim! Yeah, what's up, Kimbella? Kim, what's up? Huh? You want Let that? Out? Get out of the Over here. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting ready to do the Chrissy on that bitch. 
tonight, Kim and I are getting all the mothers and grandmothers of Mendici's children together to hopefully get the truth on the table and see once and for all if we can get these kids and family together. This is the same exact spot we met at a year ago with my husband sitting in this exact seat. Tables were a little different. And now you're sitting in this seat. And he would definitely, <laughs> like, keep my kids together. Despite my better judgment, I agreed to sit down with Samantha and Erica one last time. I know this is what Mindy season would have wanted if he were here. I know I'm gonna be going, but I don't want them missing each other. I don't want them to get distance because I'm not here. I want them to still be able to have each other. I have done my part by putting aside the fact that publicly, they tried to sabotage my family and my brand. So all I'm asking is for these women to meet me halfway and put aside all the other foolishness. My mother asked me and Erica to sit down with Kimbella, Judy, and Yandy. We agreed. Hello, ladies. But I don't think any sit down is gonna fix this family. Hi. This is our first time meeting. The other day, I came to the birthday party, to little Mendici's birthday party. I didn't come there trying to start nothing. I came there to see my nephews. I haven't seen them in the longest, and also to talk to Kim. Kim Bella is so full of She ain't have no makeup on, she didn't have no gift, she ain't have no jewelry on, she had no sneakers. Like, I don't believe Kim Bella came for no other reason but to shake the party down for her bestie. Did you hear me say, Kim, can you come outside? You said, Kim, where you I at? I said, Kim, like that. Where you at? That's I what mean, I said. And then again, like, like I said, her? Like, were, like, no, like, like you, Kim, I you see were there? Kim. Not Kim, asking questions. I'm just asking, were you there? Cause yeah, I was there. I didn't get to come in. We were coming around the corner and we heard the commotion outside. I I'm upset now because Judy and Yandy were there. Love and finished. they didn't come inside with the kids because you disrupted the party. This is the thing with the, with the whole party. Even if you're saying you were outside, there was no reason for you not to come inside. You were invited inside. Why were the kids not brought into the party? Like, that was the whole thing. If kids are standing there, nobody's gonna get crazy. Because y'all had children. left after the commotion. No, we were there. The party was from 12 to 4. Kimbella showed up at 4.05. So at the end of the day, you weren't in the party. You didn't bring the kids. I invited you personally to come. I said, I will forget about the bull I will move forward so these kids can come together. The party. Let's get these kids together. No, you, don't say the party. Judy is on some bull For somebody that want these kids together so badly, it sure don't make no sense. I'm really getting upset at the whole situation. It's like, we're keeping our kids away from y'all and it's the other way around, Yandy. Yandy's been only trying to keep these kids together. No, she hasn't. It's Lord Yandy causing this problem. And this need to stop. Yandy, Grant Project, you can't say nothing to me. I'm this, I'm the wife. You heard a little bit of noise that your hood started and you ran from the party? You wouldn't check to see if the kids were okay? For the kids that you love, for the kids that you trying to keep together. Stop lying to them. Whatever you want to say, cool, I'll take it. I want to move forward. What can we do to make sure these kids stay in each other's lives? Just be honest. That's the problem. How many times have you seen my child? I bet there's too many to count. Yeah. So that right there shows you that I've never had an issue with my son. My issue is with her. Yeah, but Erica, you got children by the same man, period. And this <laughs> bastard <laughs> has in jail them. Over all I'm talking about Mendici. These women need to start respecting themselves and acknowledge the fact it's Mendici's fault. Wait, huh? no, no, what the f you talking about, Kim? Wait a minute. I know I didn't just hear my best friend try to play my man. She about to cause World War III up in here if she doesn't choose her words wisely. All I'm saying is, no, 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 Yandy is used to talking about Mendici to Kimbella. But then when she hears a bastard and a cheater and all this stuff coming out of her friend's mouth, she's acting all surprised. And Kimbella got that straight out of Yandy's mouth. At the end of the day, if y'all know this done did this to you, done cheated on you, y'all done but had that's babies not my on issue. See, that's not my then issue. Be mad at that, not and this I one. Hold up, Kimbella. Don't put that on my son. This is not about Mendici. This is about the mothers putting their aside. The kids need to be together. They're siblings. Well, you don't want them to that. grow up, I've not remember who each other is. Time. Judy, you are being dramatic like these kids are not going to forget about each other. But they have separate they have mothers. They have separate households. 
You have to understand that they're not gonna see each other every day. You're a negative, you, and your mother is being very negative. And I'm trying to make a point. You have four children, right? And you were one mother. They had different fathers. So the point is- no, no, Let her say that to me. And so what? You said, you said the that worst to me. Mother. I got two mother baby daddies, so it don't really come for you. And when I have my next baby, you need I don't have two baby fathers too, so it should not hurt. Stop asking me, this is for his what the hell is going on? Everything was cool until Mama Judy, God damn it! Nobody, especially me, don't want to hear no conversations about Mendici's special sauce. Not at all. Oh. You cannot sit here and call my mother-in-law a bitch. This is your son's grandmother. I'm so sick and tired of all the disrespect. All right, y'all, right now, it's time for a check yourself. Now, Yandy, you had an opinion about Kim's health, and that situation is something that you shared with us, so let's take a look. Oh, my chest. <laughs> <laughs> You having a heart attack? Oh it's a big one. Oh, I'm going. Oh. Oh. What? She's having a heart attack? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Bitch, knock it off. How did you feel about them watching the scene and, and what they said? Well, I just see that they're very immature, and family don't mean shit to them, because anytime oh, you can laugh at somebody wow, in pain wow. and going through something like that. Kim, you called and me and was laughing. We're not getting anywhere. Everything is very needed. We're gonna no. dressing room, lock it down. All right, I want all of you in that room. Nobody comes in that room. It's crazy. Go, 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 go. This is crazy. This is crazy. They're taking her. They're I want to make sure my daughter's all right. Right over here. Oh, OK. Okay, that's what I feel about. I'm good. I'm good now. I'm good. All of this happens because they, because Yandy's a A lot going on in here a little while ago. A lot of screaming, yelling. I see you tearing up, Yandy, and I know that you love all of these children. Mm -hmm. What's going through your head right now? The, the children really have a very strong bond, and it's just sad that because of adult drama, they're not able to see each other. Let me ask you, Samantha, the prior situation was a little crazy. I, I just want to know who came out from the audience and decided to hit me? Who did it? I just want to know. Do you know Yandy who did it? You don't know at all? Mm -mm. I didn't even see it, actually. When I asked what happened, they told me in the back. <laughs> Can you shut this <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> Nina, I just want to say that this is pathetic. You act like you have so much love in your heart for these kids, but it came to a point where somebody physically touched little Mendici's mother. And you're sitting here shaking your head like you don't you know don't, who did it. You believe Listen, that she knows? I, she who? absolutely knows. I know for a fact she knows. If the focus is the kids, let's focus on the kids. Let's talk about we could how talk... you lie. You just said you didn't know who did it. Uh, what I Obviously, said was... Obviously, someone else what, knew. What, what I said it's was... It's someone that possibly could be related to you. What I... So own it. 
own that uh, you had somebody here. come to fight Are me. you crazy? Nobody no, needs anybody crazy? to fight you, own darling. It. Okay, now I want to talk about little Mendici's birthday party. Samantha, let me ask you, did you feel like Yandy sent Kimbella to the party? Oh, most definitely she sent Kimbella. I know that you, you said that you showed up and you left. Can you clear that up? We showed up and we got out the car and we heard a bunch of commotion. But I was like, I'm getting back in the car. I hear craziness. Okay. And we just turned around and got out of there. And then I found out when I met with Kim, she was there and I was like... So that was the craziness with Kimbella. That Kim was Bella. the craziness that was going on outside. And I'm like, gosh, why didn't you tell me? So did you not know that Kimbella was going to the party? They have a mutual friend that told her where it was. And she's like, well, I'm going to show up. I want to see the kids. Okay, and so she told you that she was going. Who has she a told mutual me friend with Kimbella? Who she has told a mutual friend? She told You're saying me you have no mutual fact. friends? Not with Kimbella, no. All right, well, that's okay. a new point. Like, let's move on. All right. No, well, it's important because it's, it's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Let me address something really quick because, as you know, production was there the day of the birthday party, and we were with Yandy when she received a phone call from Kimbella. The audio that you're about to hear happened moments before Kimbella tried to crash the birthday party. Oh, that sounds Let's different listen. than what she said. This is Judy. Hi, Kimbella. How are you feeling? Thank God I meet you today. Hold on, let me see. Let me let me go right there and get her. Hold on. Hello? I'm about to text you. All right. So, so Yandy, it sounds like you knew that she was in front before... She, yeah, she called me right when she was... Excuse me. She called me when she was already there. Okay, but it sounds like what you said before was you knew after the fact. Mm -hmm. But now it sounds like a few minutes because before... Because Kim was never supposed to be the commotion. When she called she me, she's like, oh, well, she, she already she knew. By the time I got out the car, okay. she was already there. Okay. She had already, she you already know... pulled up. Well, you, can you understand how it looks a little funny to her when she's inviting you to a party? Your friend shows up. She's not with her children. No and gift, she, ready and to rumble. She's outside. She was not ready to rumble. She was on. with a sweatsuit and her wig. She was not ready to rumble. She was like, yes. Not, you wasn't there, she said, so you don't know. So you don't she, know. She said it to security. She said, right those are my nephews. That's my son and her son. They are not her nephews. She was not invited. If you guys all have children together, how do you get them the, all together? Can you use a mediator? has to do it. And he'll be the one to delegate because these are his children. Okay. Yandy, this mm -hmm. is not her place. And okay. that's the problem. She thinks she's the father and the mother. Listen, the problem you have you don't want to admit is anything. your baby daddy don't like you. It has nothing to do with me. It's not me. I don't okay. like you. He went on the show. Like you. Right, guys. Sorry, you don't like you. Where's your, where's your marriage license, boo? Where's your marriage license? Let's Who talk a little bit. Though? about this marriage, Yandy, because yes. this was something that we all saw this yes. season that yes, played yes, out. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I was at your wedding. I yes. know that you, you know, walked down the aisle mm -hmm. in the eyes of the law. In the eyes of the law. Are you legally married to Mendeecees? I am married to Mendeecees. In the eyes of First the law. First of all, excuse me. In the eyes of the law, who are you married to, boyfriend, fiance, anything? You, why are you worried about right. that? I'm you not, so scared, right. Jamie. But legally. You so scared. About about Mandy, legally. Mandy, legally. So, so this is what I okay. have to say to you. There is no piece of paper that's going no to shit. dictate how I feel about this man. So them saying my marriage is not legal doesn't make me any no, less married. Okay. Is. Period. But so, but, 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 but just to clear it up. But to clear it up. She lied. To clear it up. Nobody lied. national TV. This is the thing is. I don't know how y'all feel, but I secured the bag. What bag? Oh, yeah, believe it, huh? Look at y'all. She will lie to you all day. And not only do I secure the bag, I protect the bag. Yeah. Anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, you one not going to do that. You want to say that they've been trying to get child support forever. Stop it. Where? What I court? Give your what court have been trying to get child support? So okay. Never, ever. Never. 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 She's that delusional. That was never even a conversation. She has the gift of gab. Why she you care? She blocks this out for people. Because you're saying You ain't been with me for about six years. You ain't been with me about 11 years. Why do y'all care? You so mad. Y'all just trying to hide that I had a relationship with him. You pressed, baby. It's not me trying to hide it. You see it? It's not me trying to hide it. You see it? It's not me trying you to hide it. it. He's trying He's to hide real. it. He's a real. He you mad. It. You pay. You he mad. He hit it. You mad. The top row of your teeth are only real. The bottom is yellow He still. paid for the top, and I could pay but for but the bottom, baby. Woman. Why but you he hit it and quit it, though. Right? And he, he gifted me with an Audi with a red bow on top the day after you announced your pregnancy. Girl, bye. I know it's toxic and it's messy right now, but I do hope that watching the package with the children, seeing how much they love each other, you guys can't come together, even if it's finding a mediator, so that at least the kids can start rebuilding their relationships during his absence. I wish you guys good luck with Thank that. Thank you. All right. 
Hey y'all, it's your girl Yandy. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe to the new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel, cause it's about to be poppin'. You gonna see all the old stuff, all the new stuff. We can get poppin' up there, all right? Period, poo.